Hi there. Now, in this tutorial, I just want to show you how you go about tackling questions when you're asked to find a least value before a success occurs for a geometric distribution. And to demonstrate this, I've got this example here, where we have a fair die in the form of a dodecahedron has faces numbered from 1 to 12. How many throws does a player need to make to be at least 95% sure of getting a 12? Well, first of all, this can be modelled then by a geometric distribution. Now if I define a random variable, say x, we can let x be the random variable number of throws to score a 12, where x is distributed geometrically with parameter p equaling 1 12th. That's the probability of scoring a 12. Now if we let n be the critical value, the least number of throws needed, then we've got that therefore the probability of x being less than or equal to n has to be greater than 0.95. And if that's the case, then to work out this probability, we need to turn to this result that you should already be familiar with, that if x is distributed geometrically with parameter p, then the probability of x being greater than r is equal to q to the power r, where q equals 1 minus p. And we can pick up on this result here. We can say that, therefore, 1 minus the probability that x is greater than n would be greater than 0.95. And if I rearrange this, let's add this probability to both sides and subtract 0.95 from both sides. So therefore, 1 minus 0.95 is going to be 0.05, and that's going to be greater than the probability of x being greater than n. And if I swap this round, we've therefore got the probability of x being greater than n must be less than 0.05. So I've now got this result here, this probability. And knowing that q would be 11 twelfths, because p is 1 twelfth, then we've got this probability will be 11 twelfths all to the power n. And that's got to be less than 0.05. There's two ways that we could go about solving an equation like this. One way would be by using trial and error, and the other way would be to use logarithms. And I'll show you both methods. So by trial and error, you choose various integer values for n. But to save time, if you were to do 11 twelfths and do it to the power 34, using your calculator, you find that this comes out to 0.051 and so on. If you do it to power 35, 11 twelfths to the power 35, then you get 0.047 and so on. So clearly you can see that you need 35 or more. So therefore the least value of n must be equal to 35. As this will give us a probability here of being less than 0.05. Now the other way of doing this that I said was by using logarithms. So if I just write here by logarithms, okay, this will take the trial and error idea out. What we do is we take natural logs or any logs to any base to both sides of this inequality. I'm going to take natural logs. So if I take the natural log of this side and using the power rule, I get n times the natural log of 
11 twelfths. And that must be less than the natural log of 0 0.05. And then I divide both sides by the natural log of 11 twelfths. So therefore we have n will be the natural log of 0 0.05 divided by the natural log of 11 twelfths. Now you'll notice I've left out the inequality here at the moment. And that's because you've got to be very careful here. When you take the log of any number less than 1, it's a negative value. So what I'm doing is effectively dividing by a negative value here. Check it out on your calculator, the natural log of 11 twelfths. Or the log in any base of 11 twelfths, and you'll find it's a negative number. And that means then that dividing by a negative number, we must reverse the inequality round. So I'll just highlight that, okay, that we're switching it round. So using your calculator to work this out, you should find you get n turning out to be greater than 34.42 and so on. So therefore, the least value of n must again correspond with what we've got here, obviously, 35. So I hope that's given you some idea then how you can go about questions like this.